plan to do that. So our business is called Healthier Restaurant with Wealth. Slogan of you are what you eat. And it's quite straightforward that our restaurant name Health Hero, which is consists of health and hero. So this shows that the restaurant is actually a concept restaurant with a superhero concept which provides healthy food and beverage. The reason we started this business is because the health awareness in society nowadays is increasing and they, people are usually people are actually paying a lot of attention in what they eat, what they consume. But most of them actually prefer to cook at home themselves because the food outside there is quite mm, unhealthy. And so with the no, no, no. <coughs> so with the creation of a, no, with the creation of our business, we actually provide them a place to get access to healthy, delicious food at an affordable prices. Apart from that, we are using a superhero team in our restaurant. Um, but it's not actually a real superhero. We're actually using a parody of a real superhero. Let's say, like, if Iron Man, we change it to Iron Woman to avoid copyright issues. And <laughs> so we're using a team to attract customers, especially children or teenagers who don't really like to eat healthy food because they are kind of tasteless sometimes. And so far we plan to set up our business in uh, places that has a lot of flow of people like somewhere pyramid where families, friends, students always hang out there. Now we have Patricia to present market analysis to you all. So firstly, I will be talking about marketing analysis. We will be analyzing through, we will be analyzing through demographics, trends, needs, and so on. Uh, in market demographics, we have geographics. Our geographic target will be people around the mall area, which we estimate around 50,000 people. And we have demographics. Our targeted population will be both male and female from age 2 to 60 years old. And, it's, and they're health conscious. Next, our market needs. We have selection where customer would have a wide range of selection of food choice from to choose from the menu and access, accessibility where customer will gain access to the restaurant with minimal weights and have the option to choose to take out and dine in. Also, we have health and fitness consciousness and trends followers. This is due to the fact that nowadays, youngsters especially, they tend to be aware of their health and also they tend to follow the newest, new established trends. And last but not least is SWOT. SWOT stands for strength, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. For our base for our restaurant strength, our strength is that we are a new business and we have a special menu for dedicated to certain type of people like for example people with health issues and also relatively good price on our food. But due to the fact that if we we have we are good we, we are a new business so we have no reputation yet, so this makes us, we have difficulties in promoting and also we won't be able to face the intense competition from other, from the other restaurants. But we have opportunities by gaining, by gaining loyalty from customers and becoming a listed company and also be well known. But Besides that, there's also chats like bad of bad economy, change of trend, and a rise on the operating cost. And now I would send. Uh, so now we're going to talk about the marketing strategies. 
Uh, first, is what's so good about our restaurant is that we provide a healthy meal, um, which is which is uh, which is advised by a nutritionist. And then uh, we have this eye-catching team, which is the uh, superhero team, which uh, attract not only teenage but also kids, since kids don't like healthy food. And then after this is, we are going to talk about the sales strategies, how are we going to advertise and promote activities. First of all, of course, uh, through social media, since everyone is using it, like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And then we also provide food sample in our restaurant so that people can try our food and to see if they like it or not. And then we'll be, um, we do it through introduction for the nutritionist, since it's advised by um, nutritionists. And then we can maximize the opportunity in events like fun fair. We can open up a booth <coughs> and people will try out our food. And then the last but not least is the updating the menu once in a while. This is so that um, we get to um, people will come back and try out the new the new food that, that we updated. And this is uh, the pricing. Okay, like maybe you cannot see because it's too small. I squeeze everything to the menu. You have to see. So uh, we actually have this uh, reasonable pricing because uh, we give, it's not expensive, it's cheap and it's healthy and we provide fresh food for everyone. Okay. And now we're going to move on to the marketing strategies and not management strategies. Hi again. Um, we're going to present the business legal structure and job scope of health hero restaurants. So the business legal structure of our restaurant is partnership which consists of two owners, Gida and Valentine Q. So basically the so basically the business is actually organized and managed by the owners themselves. Excuse me. Okay. The reason we're using partnership in our business because two is better than one. Of course the more the better, right? So we have more person to share the financial burden and we have more capital when we start up our business from having larger borrowing capacity from the bank. Um, yeah, because we have two minds, so we have more people to contribute interesting ideas. But there are also the advantages in our business because unlike those limited companies, we actually have unlimited liability for debt. That means um, we are fully responsible for every single business that our business makes. And of course, this agreement could happen between the partnership because even you fight with your siblings, right? And here we go to our first owner, Gaida. She is the master chef of Health Hero Restaurants. And she is mainly in charge of supervising the business development and uh, creating menus, directing kitchen operation, actually. And our second owner is Valentine. She is a manager. And she is mainly in charge of administri administrative functions, marketing, finances, Accounting and I guess a cashier in our business too. Okay, we are we will also employ the following people: one kitchen assistant, one restaurant assistant, one cleaner, and one delivery worker. So this total add up to six per person. Okay, we are using a take a number system in our in our business, so we don't really need a waiter or waitress in our business. Okay, next we will have Dida present financial plan to you guys. So the total cost to start up the restaurant would be two, uh, 200,000 ringgit to 300,000 ringgit and this would be divided um, according to this. So the renovation will take the highest percentage because we need to, to have an attractive um, decor um, which is associated with the super and then the marketing will take the less because lower percentage because we have the, the social media so then we don't have to pay for that. And here is the uh, profit uh, for everyone is 60,000. 
saying that um, we have 100 customers <coughs> per day, and then this will profit every year is 720,000, and then the expenses are 471, and then during the four years we're hoping that 10 percent, the profit of 5 percent, to increase 5 percent each year, giving. Okay, thank you.